This book established the modern fantasy genre. Without it and its subsequent sequels, fantasy would remain a much smaller and far more maligned literary series, exposed us to many of the cliches and tropes of the genre that we love and hate today. My name is Grant, welcome to GH Books, and this is my review of The Fellowship of the Ring. It's been close to a decade since I first read this book, but I recently finished listening to the audiobook and I thought I would give it a review. The Fellowship of the Ring is of course the first book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Written as a sequel to The Hobbit, you can click this annotation or check the description below to see my review of that. Just like in The Hobbit, this book starts with a party, but this party is Bilbo's 111th birthday instead of the party celebrating Gandalf inviting a bunch of hairy men into Bilbo's house. In reading this book, you learn a lot more about the story than you do in the movie. You get little details like Frodo was actually Bilbo's cousin and that the two of them have the same birthday. And Frodo isn't a teenager in The Lord of the Rings. At the beginning he is 33 and just like Bilbo he is 50 when Gandalf sends him on his journey. However you wouldn't get that from the film because Elijah Wood is basically a perpetual teenager. I have to say that The Fellowship of the Ring starts off pretty slow. The characters spend the first half of the book just getting to Rivendell while the second half of the book contains all the parts we remember from the film and moves a lot faster. You can tell someone has actually read the book when they have a fondness for referencing Tom Bombadil. He is a very obscure character that only book readers know of, who is basically Middle Earth Jesus, but that's a story for another day. You also learn more about Saruman's intentions in the book. He doesn't actually agree with Sauron's goals. Rather, he is simply allying with him for the time being in hopes of taking power for himself. And this is a common theme throughout the Lord of the rings. It seems that everybody but the hobbits want to use the ring for their own devices, which could explain why they didn't use the eagles, but that's another topic for another day. So this book contains and is the originator of many of the fantasy tropes we know and love, like forming a team that has to go on a dangerous journey and losing champions along said journey. Like I mentioned in my review of The Hobbit, there is this idea throughout the book that everything happens for a reason. And my favorite quote in the book would have to be one that comes from Gandalf that I think the film did quite nicely. I wish the ring had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. There are other forces at work in this world, Frodo, besides the will of evil. Bilbo was meant to find the ring. In which case, you also were meant to have it. And that is an encouraging thought. So what do you think? Have you read the book or have you just seen the movies? Do you now have motivation to read the book? Tell me in the comment section below. Like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, keep reading, and have a great day.